Premier League is back boys, we've finally earned our reward and yeah we've had an unenjoyable international break really early into the season but we're back into the club games and yeah we're having some really amazing games in this match day 4 especially that Tottenham versus Arsenal game, that's going to be a fiery one so let's get right into these predictions game of the Premier League game week 4, we have got Southampton versus Manchester United two teams that have actually struggled so far in the Premier League Southampton 3 losses and Man United they've got a win against Fulham and two losses after that so this will not be a fun game I must say as a Manchester United fan that 3-0 loss against Liverpool was really painful but hopefully we can bounce back which is why I'm going with a 2-1 away win for the Red Devils and for the 3 p.m. kickoffs, and we have got Liverpool versus Nottingham Forest at Anfield. And yeah, Arne Slot is really impressing at Liverpool so far. Three games and three wins. And yeah, he hasn't conceded a single goal so far. And that is just amazing. Just round of applause from uh, two Liverpool as a Man United fan. And Nottingham Forest, they've been decent so far in the Premier League. Um, Two draws and a win, I believe, against Southampton. But yeah, this is their first real tough challenge, which is why I'm going with a 3-0 win for Liverpool. Manchester City versus Brentford is the next prediction. And yeah, two teams who have been playing well in the league so far. Man City, they've obviously got three out of three wins. And Erling Haaland, two hat-tricks in two consecutive games. One against Ipswich and West Ham and just amazing, bro. Another round of applause goes goes to Erling Haaland. Well done, bro. You got seven goals in three games. That's more than Man United and Arsenal combined, I think. <laughs> that is crazy, bro. And Brentford, they've been doing decent in the league as well. Two wins. Uh, they got a big 3-1 win uh, over Southampton um, uh, in the previous game week. But this will be the first real test. And I am going with a 4-1 win for Manchester City. And for the next game, Fulham versus West Ham. Now, Fulham, they've been decent in the Premier League. A loss against United. They bounce back with a win against Leicester City. And then a surprising draw against Ipswich Town. Ipswich Town, they took the lead against Fulham. And yeah, Ipswich Town, they like they have this um they have this uh specialty that can that they can like take the lead early in the game. And they obviously did that against Man City as well, but Man City made a comeback and won the game. And uh West Ham on the other side, they've also not been great. Um a uh, 3-1 loss against City and a 2-0 win against West Ham and I believe a 2-1 loss against Villa in the first game week. And yeah, West Ham v Fulham, this could be an exciting game to watch. So I'm going with a 2-2 draw at Craven Cottage. And for the next game, we have got Crystal Palace versus Leicester City. Both teams who haven't got a win in the Premier League so far. Uh, uh, Crystal Palace have got a draw and so have Leicester City but uh, this could be an exciting game to watch I think uh, Crystal Palace could get their first win but um, yeah um, Eber Eza has been playing really well for the club and um, Leicester City on the other hand they've been decent they're bringing in some new good talent they've obviously signed um, a couple of players from Crystal Palace so yeah um, hopefully we'll see those Crystal Palace players who are playing for Leicester City now make a uh, um, an appearance against Crystal Palace. So I am going with a 2 0 win for Crystal Palace. It's going to be the first win of this season. And yeah, so time for the next game. For the final 3 pm kickoff on Gillette Soccer Saturday, we have got Brighton versus Ipswich Town. And yeah, this match will be played at the Amex Stadium. And Brighton, they've just been amazing so far in the Premier League. A 3 0 win against Everton on the first match day, a 2 1 win against United, and they've held back Arsenal as well. A 1 1 draw. Declan Rice's red card was extremely controversial. As a United fan, uh, I don't think that red card. Um, was deserved for Declan Rice because <clears throat> all he did was just just nudge the ball like this. Like fair enough if he just if he just booted the ball like twenty yards away, but just nudging the ball there's no problem with that. But yeah, just Premier League referees. So and yeah, Ipswich Town on the other hand they can take an early lead, but obviously they uh, they can't hold on to it. But Ipswich they could take an early lead in this game. So but if that happens, I'm going with. 
two goals for Brighton. So I'm going with Brighton 2, Ipswich Town 1. Game is Aston Villa versus Everton. Amadou Anana will be playing against his former club. And Aston Villa, they've been good this season, but Everton absolutely dreadful performances. 3 0 against Brighton, 4 0 against Tottenham. And then, like, what happened against Bournemouth? Just like, so Bournemouth versus Everton. Everton were 2 0 up in the in the 60th minute. They were all comfortable, but Bournemouth, they, they got one back, they equalized and, and just got. And just got another one in, in additional time. Like Bournemouth, that was probably one of the best comebacks in Premier League history. Like Bournemouth fans, you receive my third applause of the video. Great performance there, Bournemouth. But yeah, I think that um their lost streak is gonna continue. So I am going a comfortable three nil win for Aston Villa. Next up, we got the first 8 p.m. kickoff of the Premier League, which is going to be Bournemouth versus Chelsea at the Vitality Stadium. Now, Bournemouth, they've been decent in the Premier League so far. They've got um two draws and that amazing win against Everton. And Chelsea, they've, they've been good as well. Uh, a 2-0 loss against Man City, but they bounced back with an amazing 6-2 win against Wolves. And yeah, we'll talk about Wolves in the in the last part of the video and yeah so chelsea they've been decent and uh bournemouth they've also been decent so i can see some goals in this game i think i think we can have a few goals but um i think i think i'll go a win for chelsea a tight win but i'm gonna go bournemouth one chelsea two Alright guys, time for the big one, Tottenham versus Arsenal, this is going to be a fiery game, I must say, it's going to be violence, aggression, red cards, everything, obviously Arsenal have a big disadvantage, they have a big loss, Declan Rice will be missing out, and yeah, a big disadvantage for Arsenal in the midfield, but hopefully they can uh, create something against Tottenham, Tottenham, they've been decent in the league, and a 4-0 win against Everton. But yeah, this is going to be a high-scoring game, I must say. But I'll say a win for Arsenal. I'm going to go a 4-2 win for Arsenal. Boys, time for our final game. Wolves versus Newcastle. Now, Newcastle, they've been great in the season so far. Uh, they got um a 2-1 win against Tottenham. Isak scoring the winner. And Wolves, they've also been dreadful. Like, uh, they just got the one draw, the one point. And, yeah, 6-2 against Chelsea at home in front of your own fans. That is dreadful performance by Wolves. But, yeah, hopefully we can see them bounce back in this game. But I don't think it's happening. I'm going with a comfortable win for Newcastle, which is why I'm going... Wolverhampton Wanderers, 1. Newcastle, 3. Alright boys, so I've got my predictions locked in. It's time for you guys to get your predictions locked in in the comment section below. And yeah, it's going to be a great week of football. The Premier League is finally back. And yeah guys, I think this is where I'm going to end the video today. If you guys like the video, please like, share and subscribe. So stay tuned. Goodbye.